What's up everyone, my name is Nightro and welcome back to some more Neko Power Volume 3 on the last episode. Uh, Cinnamon and Maple started practicing their instrument for the first time together. And then the things started to heat up. They got they both got horny and they had uh they were all, all the way <laughs> they were all the way in the in their freaking house and nobody even noticed they were doing that. Oh boy. And after that, Cinnamon is playing the pian the keyboard at the cafe, I guess. And everything looks so adorable. I think we're gonna use it as, as a thumbnail, I think. But I will change the previous thumbnail that I made for the one where they're kissing. Because I think that makes more sense. Maybe, I don't know. I still haven't decided if I should or not. Either way, let's continue with the story. That's no way to talk to your teacher, is it? Ah, the cuteness ended. Hey, nuts. Can you use your brute force to do something about her? I can put, I can put up with uh, we we'll do this lame ceremony every morning. But cinema, cinema on Asia looks really sad when I turn her down. I can just ignore her after seeing that. Oh my god, they're doing that every morning? That's adorable. Shoko's having fun, it's kind of it's kind of like a school. Speaking of school, it's almost lunchtime. Let's ask Master for cake. Cake for lunch. You're always so po um, po um, positive, Shokola. He'll come uh, he'll calm me down, good girl. <laughs> I can't do it, absolutely not. What are you stupid? Wait, what are you, what are you talking to? <laughs> what? <laughs> I haven't been practicing seriously for a long uh, for very long. You can just expect me to put a performance on um for people out uh, out of the blue. <laughs> oh my god. Maple, calm down, there's no need to raise your voice. Okay, now that I'm more comfortable, someone just said there was and um, there was a possibility. I know, but Maple looks gloomy as she drops her gaze. She takes some deep breath to calm herself down before looking at me. So, what is this about about me having to sing in front of people? Yeah, and she is still um, looking suspicious. Okay, this is really uncomfortable even more. Damn it. One of my friends from college work at a pretty big company. She just finished up a big project. She's planning to invite her team to Japan next week for uh, an after party. And she hit me up, uh, up to serve, de uh, serve dessert. And you're telling me to sing at this occasion? At the occasion? Honestly, she was just wondering if you, if you considered it. It's still so sudden. Maple's frown seemingly unsatisfied. A large scale party is no place for a cat girl to be singing. How did she even get that in the idea? Well, we always got him along. I think she's cute and what the I think she uh, keeps up with her with our blog too. So she saw the clip of me singing. That's about the gist of it. <laughs> oh boy. She looks away again and, and goes quiet. Okay, this is really uncomfortable.
Okay. You don't have to reply right now. I just wanted to see what your thoughts are of the offer. Even if you're trying to make it sound like it is no big deal, I... What's the matter? This isn't like you, Maple. If you decide you're going to sing, you might as well give it a try. It won't be a... <laughs> It would be a shame to let to let others hear your singing. Yeah, I feel the same way. She could and I try to reassure her. Maple just stands there quietly unfolded. The looks on her face is clearly not not one of ex excitement. I said this earlier. It hasn't been that long since I decided to, and I was going to take this seriously. If I, if I perform like this, it's going to be clear that I haven't, I haven't had enough practice. I know where I stand in the grand scheme of things. She slumps her shoulders and shakes her head. That may be true. But the other, and the other party asked after she heard you sing. So... And I'm saying you're mistaken. I mean, she's mistaken. If it's such an important party, she should just hire a professional singer. Maple. Maple looks un un unapproachable as she puts her hand on her lips at and sighs. I put my hand on Shigoda's shoulder as she uh, as she's about to say something. The heck is raining now. Sorry, Maple. I didn't mean to ruin your mood. It's just that it's just that she is one of my best friends, so I wanted to I wanted her to hear you sing. I was so happy that she offered me that that chance at, at such an important party. Cashew, I won't force you though. If you don't want to do it, I'll turn her down for you. Sorry about that. It's still early in the morning too. You don't have to apologize, Cashew. Maple looks uncomfortable as she darts her eyes away. It's almost time to open shop, I'll, get, I'll go get ready. Yes, I suppose it was too early for this occasion, I mean this, this discussion. Yeah, in more ways than one. <laughs> she could have briefly puts her hand on top of mine. Then she sees Maple off as she exits the kitchen. I thought Maple Lonechan would be happy to ta and happily t taking that offer. Yeah, that wasn't like her at all. Right, she's good, so she should um, go out and sing. Well, she's free to do as she wants. You should be commenting on this. That was fast, it's stopped raining. Anyway, I'm opening the shop and you girls ready? Man, my back is gonna hurt for tomorrow. Yo, catch you. <laughs> Got a second? Asuki, what's up? It's nothing really bad. I thought I'd ask you this, uh, just in case. Uh, pull me out uh, out on delivery, but she's running late. Yes. Well, she does have a bell on her. So I don't think anything happened to her. Wait, does she have a bell? Because I never noticed. I'm just a little nervous, so... Asuki folds her hand together behind her head, clearly annoyed. It's non -com and committal, committal as she looks, she's still observant about thing and this thing. It has a it has a reverse effect of making her look more reliable. You really are the big sister, Azuki. I'm the oldest. What do you, what do you expect? 
those damn kittens are a handful, all of them. She smirks, sighs, and shakes her head. I'm going out to get something. Asuki, can you handle the um, handle the kitchen? I'll do what I can, but don't stay out too long. I know you, I know you trust me, but your your pot and your position is too big of responsibility. Yeah, I'll be right back. I'll take off my apron and pet Asuki's head. Hmm. I'll be out for a while. Take care, everyone. Yes, are you going out? Oh, ho, Chocolate wants to come with. <laughs> what? <laughs> Leave Chocolate to me. Have fun on your shopping trip, Master. Thanks, Vanilla. Take care. <laughs> of course, get, uh, get me something nice. <laughs> Poor Chocola. I make uh, I make my way out outside as Vanilla pins Chocola arms behind her back. Maybe I should get the other table. Damn it. It's just like Kaiju to, to stick his nose into everyone's business. Master is helpless in in, in the presence of a of a harm of a cat girls. <laughs> So they notice. Onichan just being nice to us. Everyone loves that. Loves that. Our master cares for cat girls so much. <laughs> oh, chocolate. Right. I'm Onichan's best friend too. Ancestor. Oh well. Hey, Maple. Cashew? Maple is sitting on a bench, her eyes widen for a second. It doesn't take long before her bad mood returns and she looks away. What, did I worry you so much that you had to come look for me? You're such a worry word, Cashew. No, I'm just, I'm just, out, <laughs> just out buying stuff. And I happen to see you here. I respond as I sit myself next to her. We keep and we keep quiet, not talking about anything. I squint when I see the orange light hit the horizon on the other side of the park. There's no people, no breeze, just the warmth of the sunset. The two of us watch the scene in silence. Are you having fun with the guitar, Maple? She answers with. Yeah. Maple nods high nods, I looking straight ahead. That's good. I kept my answer short. I continue gazing at the unchanging quiet sea. What the heck? Mm. Maple raises her head to look at the twilight sky. She whispers her voice in <laughs> indistinct and blunt. I still don't believe it uh, believe it myself. I keep quiet. I'll wait for Maple to continue. Everyone says my singing is good. You and Cinnamon push me way when I when I hesitated. But I still don't believe in myself. Her her voice faded in and out. It doesn't sound like her at all. Maple continues to whisper. You can't chase, uh, chase your dream if you're not dumb. Cashew. Maple looks up and looks up at me. I told you to. I told you my story before. Remember? I've been going at this for a while now. Maple stays quiet. She focuses and uh, focuses on my words. Ever since I can remember, I've been ma I've been making sweets. First, I I was a jet. At first it was Japanese and Western. When I switched I felt the same way and you do <laughs> you do. Cashew. Uh re grin creeps on my face as I remember the past. I continue looking at Maple. Until I become qualified, until I became world class. Until I create something I can be proud of. 
I'm not going to show anyone what I make. But that old the that old pit, uh, pitch is here said uh, said to me, quit making excuses. Excuses? I am not an answer. You're making food for people, but you don't want them to eat it. You'll get <laughs> you'll get nowhere in this business if you're afraid of being uh, humiliated. Though I'll uh, I'll uh, damn it. Though I'll admit, you gotta know your place too, or so he said. Humili humiliate? Scared. The wind begins to blow. And locks of Maple's hair fluttered around. There's a lot a lot you can learn only by letting people eat your food. And there's just no point. In protecting my own worthless pride. You can follow your, your dreams without being willing to suffer a bit of shame along the way. And you need to be dumb to do that. Well, I can say that now. I, and I look Maple right in the eyes. As I imparted the lesson, I was taught to and I was taught to her, one word at a time. You were happy to see all those people excited at the amusement park, right? It was enough to make you forget about all the bad stuff in the past and make you want to sing. Just like she would have said this morning, you'll be fine. And it's not and it's not just chico they chocolate vanilla. Asuki, coconut, cinnamon and me. Well, we all think you're going to be fine. Aren't you the only one who doesn't believe in yourself, Maple? She looks away and and drops her gaze. All I can see in is her profile. That's still enough to see that she's chewing on her lips. No, why? I'm... Mason. She turns around to look at the voice. Cinnamon? Why are you here? Cinnamon word uh, wordlessly takes a step to uh, towards Maple. She looks at Maple dead in the eye. Mason, you're so lame right now. Wow. Huh? Cinnamon. Maple doesn't expect that, and <laughs> that, and her eyes widen in shock. Cinnamon, <laughs> cinnamon keeps going. She tells, and she tells Maple off. So that's how you, how small your dream is. You keep making excuses, Maple. You're so lame. Cinnamon. Cinnamon is usually all smiles and laughs. Right now, though, she's uh, she has a sharp expression on her face. She continues to pierce Maple <laughs> with the newfound words. But no, I'm my dream. What is your dream? Uh. The uh, crap. Maple uh, is at a loss for words. No sé, mami. De cambiarla. No sé. Puso las en la sala. Sí, pero papi fue el último que estaba ahí. Uh, uh, let's continue. She can't meet Cinnamon's gaze. She clenches her hands. Her elegant body shivers slightly. Mishan. Cinnamon takes Maple's hand, then looks into her eyes. Yes, Steam. You're not that kind of a cat girl, are you, Mishan? I know because I've been watching you from up uh, up close for a long time. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Uh, Cinnamon calms down her voice, becoming clear. She holds Maple's deaf hands in the in in hers. Cinnamon continues talking to her. Believe in yourself. I know that you're working hard when no one else is, is watching. It doesn't matter whether you are human or a cat girl. You can do it, Meijan, I know you can. Even if you don't believe in you, I believe in you more than anyone else could. So I want you to believe in yourself. 
Cinnamon? Why would you? We promised we'd be together forever, right? You said that I'm your best friend, right? So? I'm going to give you a hand when you're in trouble. If a helping hand isn't enough, I'll give you a push. Because I'm the closest to you I, and I promise I will be there for you. If you if you have doubt, I'll play I'll play in the background for you. So please believe in yourself. I'm going to support you, Meishan. This downcast looks doesn't suit you, Meishan. Cinnamon. Those are some big words. <laughs> of course, we're best friend after all. You're not supposed to cuddle your best friend after all. Yeah, you're right. They look at each other and smile. A warm sunset engulfs them. The maple nuts. Slowly but firmly she nods. I'll give it a shot. I don't have confidence in myself and I'm scared. But there is someone depending on me. I'll sing. So? So Cinnamon, would you do it and do this with me? <laughs> yes, of course. I'm your best friend, Meishan. I'll do anything I can to help. Uh, to help you. Thanks, Cinnamon. This is nothing. Because we're best friends. Ah, oh, that's adorable. The glimmering sunset shines at the, uh, as they talk. Their feeling becomes one. Another, another <laughs> strong bond. I see another strong bond from from over there. Soft laughter. Oh crap! I'm back. <clears throat> uh, that was so. <laughs> that was lame of me. Still, I'm feeling relieved now. Thanks to thanks to you two. Thank you, really. Oh, you don't have to thank us. You and Kachu-san already cheered, uh, cheered me up. <laughs> so, I'm happy just being able to help you, Meishan. They look each other in the eye. Their smiles are bright but soft. Well, I was just talking about about all times. I'm just feeling better. It was all it was all you, all, all you, Maple. You're both so modest. I had to show up. I had to show up now. <coughs> Crap. I had to show up now, or else I'll never be able to show my face again. I'll do my best too. Let's work and let's work at it, Mason. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Let's put on a great performance. Of course, I'll be sure to practice lots. So I don't, so I don't embarrass you or catch you, son. Yeah, you two will be fine. And expecting good things. I walk alongside them and ruffle their their hairs. <laughs> Let's go back to the store. Yeah, everyone's waiting for us. Oh, I thought you were out shopping. <laughs> Busted. That. I think we still have some stuff left left in the in the fridge. <laughs> You're so obvious. I'll leave it at that. My nosy master. Okay. Master? Meishan said master? You don't even call Shigure Shan that. <laughs> you don't even call Shigure Shan Oh crap. I already said that. Well, just this once. <laughs> because he feels like a like a parent right now. <laughs> wow, sweet. She's going sweet on you, Kachi, huh? son. <laughs> and watch where you're going, Cinnamon, your trip. It doesn't matter whether you're human or cat, girl. I repeat the word Cinnamon said in, in my head. Everyone, everyone's grown up so much. I'm sure those two will be fine. 
I affirm that feeling to myself. I look at their smiling faces as we walk home. Okay, I think it's time to stop recording. Oh man, my freaking back. I'm gonna take a break from recording at the moment. So guys, thank you so much for watching, for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.